Hey guys, welcome back to All in a Law. This is quick pathology for USMLE step one. Okay, guys. So today we're gonna talk about amyloidosis, amyloidosis of spleen. We're gonna talk in two sense. One is microscopic features how does it look and the microscopic features okay so remember the amyloidosis of spleen or a spleen amyloid may have two patterns okay one is known as lordaceous spleen and another one is known as sago spleen okay we have two types one is lordaceous Spleen and one is sago. Okay, in large spleen, there is what you call a deposition in the stroma of the red pulp. The amyloid is deposited in the stroma of the red pulp. Okay, and in the sago spleen, it's deposited in white pulp. It's a red pulp, and this one is around what you call white pulp. Okay, if you talk about the gross, what you call uh, microscopic feature or gross appearance, how does it look? It can have the spleen can be in normal shape, can be moderately increased or markedly increased. Okay, means splenomegaly, right? If you take out the cut surface of the spleen, it shows two patterns as we discuss lordaceous spleen and the sago spleen. In a lordaceous spleen, you see what you call diffuse map like areas of pale waxy translucency okay whereas sago spleen shows a multiple pale foci corresponding to the region of splenic follicles okay so if you see like this i'm not able to draw the correctly okay then you see then you see Okay, guys. Right. So the lordaceous of spleen, you see diffuse map-like areas of pale waxy translucency. Okay, in the sago, you see multiple pale foci corresponding to the regions of splenic follicles. If you look at the microscopic examination, the lordaceous of spleen, the amyloid deposits are seen in the walls of splenic sinuses and the region of the red pulp. Look at this; they are deposited along the walls of the splenic sinuses. Okay. And the region of red pulp whereas in the sago spleen the amyloid deposits begin in the wall of arterioles of the white pulp and eventually replacing the splenic, splenic follicles here it starts with the arterioles okay there's it why well, it, uh, it appears on what you call splenic sinuses okay then we have another one is what you call a congo red staining if you do congo red that's for amyloidosis Congo red staining it gives a pink or red color to amyloid by light microscopy okay so these are the what you call the microscopic and the microscopic features of amyloidosis of spleen thank you so much for watching this video guys take care